what's up guys and welcome back to my channel guys i wanted to tell you about him um, what does it really mean for the um, barcelona legends to be in livingstone in my case um as a travel vlogger as um, a youtuber here in zambia i'm um, i'm really happy after the barcelona legends games um this the barcelona legend game against the zambian um, 22 of afcon legends um, it has been a great um, that's how i describe it it's a great uh, moment for zambia to showcase what it has to offer i was happy today after the game yesterday today they were flown to livingstone actually the both teams Mm, the Barcelona legends and also the Chipropolo legends who have gone to um, to Livingstone to like I heard today they will be doing some boat cruising uh, on the Zambezi River they will do some um, they will do some um, micro flight or the helicopter ride across the falls. Uh, that's one of the activities which I did over a year ago when I went to Livingstone. Mm, flew on a helicopter to view the Victoria Falls. It is a great marketing tool, so I'm excited about that. Not only for them, it will be a refreshing experience, you know. They are used to all the lifestyle out there, uh, which is a luxury. They have been to good hotels, but what we have is really unique. And I hope they'll get to do the, maybe the bungee jumping as well. Apart from the bungee jumping, I also hope they will, if they could do the lion walk as well, since I've done a bunch of those activities, the lion walk, helicopter ride, going to view the Victoria Falls, um... And this happens to be the peak of the season, guys. I'm really excited about that. Um, and why I, I'm, I'm trying to, remain, to remember this is because I also, I will personally also be traveling over to Livingstone. I'm sure very, very shortly, between now, maybe in the course of the month of June, I'll be in Livingstone definitely. It's one of the places I love the most uh, here in Zambia. And I hope someone would, um, would get inspired to be a time of refreshing um, to our legends. You know, it was so good yesterday to watch Ronaldinho. It was my first time to watch Ronaldinho and his colleagues. Purely, purely a fan. I'm not a soccer fan. I'm going to say it again. I'm not a soccer fan. But yesterday I had to do it for the sake of my audience who love football or uh, what others call it soccer. I don't know what you call it in your country, but here in Zambia we are used to, to calling it soccer, to call it football. So it was so fun. I really, really enjoyed myself. The highlights I can give you uh, was just how Ronaldinho was like uh, the best guy, the most loved. It was a very, an, a very biased love which existed. Have you been in a game like for yesterday where you are in a game and you are supporting both teams? Imagine being a Zambian now supporting the Zambian team, but a lot of people they supported both sides. If it is Ronaldinho, he gets on the ball, dribbles. It was fun for everyone. People were cheering. We cheered both teams. We were so happy. Ah, Ronaldinho, things like that. I almost couldn't believe it that. Um, a non soccer fan, the stadium was really full to capacity. I had to go much, much early before nine hours. I was inside, yet the game was starting 16 hours. You can imagine the endurance uh, which we as vloggers uh, like go through 
so many times just to bring you content guys it was something memorable according to me so i was very excited as well um everything that the guys have been airlifted to to livingstone you know so that they could do um, they were lifted to livingstone i can imagine the experience they will have whether they will be at havani uh, hotel which is just in, behind the victoria falls and uh, i don't know but how the zambian government whether the organizers i don't know what i would call them but in general they are coming here means more than just soccer playing the game it was more than just playing the game mm, to entertain the people the winner didn't really matter in yesterday's game the winner didn't really matter the winners were the people who were watching because whichever way the game was going it was bringing joy it was bringing excitement it brought togetherness i said it one time that um, if there is one thing in our country which unites both parties uh, people could be in political circles uh, whichever political party there's too much politics in zambia but uh, when it comes to football uh, it is the only one uniting factor it is the only one uniting factor which will bring people and they will speak one language and that is exactly what happened yesterday it was so fun it was so interesting i can't wait to to look forward to hearing the outcome of the marketing how these guys will market our country well not just for the sake of marketing but also how they are going to feel so on that note uh, i would want to officially tell you guys that in, if i get enough support ah i'm still going to livingstone but i wanted before i could go to livingstone to give you a surprise visit somewhere somewhere uh before i get to june one place it's so unique this one i would not talk about it so if i get the um, enough resources i'll be able to do uh like i always talk about that um, i'm arguably as travelertainment i'm arguably uh the zambian youtuber at the moment who can show you the real zambia who's been to many corners of zambia to just showcase everything zambia has to offer right now um i'm inside the showground but i'm trying to think because of limited resources whether i should watch there's an event going on now hmm i'm trying to suffer a lot of things to um, I have a lot of battles within myself. I'm inside the showground. Uh, here behind. Yeah, there is an event which is about to take place. Uh, for the so-called... Um, there is Kofi Olomi there from Congo Diara. Who is the, who will be singing later in the night. I don't know what time. But above all... Um, apart from Kofi, there is... Um, there's another there are kids from uganda who are known as the ghetto kids of uganda the ghetto kids i hope i know you guys might uh, maybe you already know these kids from uganda the ghetto kids of uganda who have become very popular they also went on in a show known as britain has got talent very good dancers these are mostly often the kids uh who have come together and they do mostly of the dances i'm so happy uh because right now i was concerned with a lot of background music but um, i think i need to end just right here this video won't be too long it's just a a follow-up uh only just to remind you that i'm so excited that these legends have been treated to go to the falls otherwise what can i say guys Thank you so much. I always appreciate you for always coming back to watch my videos for your love and support. And also, yeah, you guys have there been for me, especially the people that help me with my travels. Like I said, I've got two travels to do. 
just between now and June. Your support is highly appreciated. If it is in your power to support me, please do so. You know my WhatsApp. Just check on my profile. There is my WhatsApp and you can reach out to me. Help me to reach many places. Guys, I'll see you in my next video. For now, peace out. No editing today.